I came to the Republican convention, armed with a fishbowl of questions and a burning desire to learn just what homo sapiens today feel about their political leaders. All you gotta do is reach into the fishbowl of anthropology questions, pick one, read it, and give it your best shot. Which homo sapien would you trust with your daughter, Donald Trump or Barack Obama? Oh, Donald Trump. Seriously, people say Donald Trump? Neither? Neither. Come on, you don't think Barack would be kind to your daughter? I'm not saying he wouldn't be kind, I'm just saying I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't even want, no like, woman. the mean girl of, yeah, from high school to be with Donald Trump. My daughter could whoop either one of them, so I'm not worried about it. All right, sir, could you pick a question, please, and answer for me? Polygyny in primates occurs when a single male monopolizes access to multiple females. If Trump was an orangutan, would he practice polygyny? I think he practices it now. Donald Trump is a ladies' man. He's the mag daddy of the White House. I mean, in the right way, in the right way, not a not a rapist like Bill Clinton. If you were like an orangutan, would you try it out? I mean, listen, I'm I'm a little selfish myself. I mean, I might might give it a whirl. I'm not I'm not going to fault the man for that part. If Trump was not a Homo sapien but a different species, what would he be? The president. What the fuck else would he be? There are different ways chimpanzees cultivate alliances, including sharing meat and grooming each other. If you had to form an alliance with Trump, which of these two behaviors would you choose? Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'd groom him. And why? Because somebody's got to tame that hair, I mean. Because i got to find out what's under that toupee. I'm going to have to do something about that bad comb over. Sharing meat means like having dinner together, right? That would be, okay, I'm not going to groom him. Dominant chimpanzees sometimes show dominance by reclining on their back while submissive chimps touch their balls. If Trump is a dominant Republican chimp, which losing candidate claimed closest to touching his balls metaphorically? I know that one. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. I'm going to go with Ted Cruz. Chris Christie all the way. Chris Christie's a ball toucher is what you're saying. Exactly. Ball, you know, touching, fondling, caressing. Please, Donald, what can I do to not only touch them but lick them profusely? What characteristics make Trump a good leader of primates? Oh, well, let's see. Um, He's going to have the what we call the cojones uh, down in Texas uh, to, to do the right thing to move the country forward. Is Trump a great ape or a lesser ape? Well, if Dr. Zayas were here... He's an asshole. He's not an ape. Trump is human. There's a difference between an ape and a human. If you haven't figured that out, go back to school 101. Now, as a gay Republican, uh, Donald Trump is daddy. I love him. He's a great ape. You're right, man. That's actually the only one that has a yes-no answer. Homo sapiens are great apes. You win. Perfect. What do I win? Shit, we didn't work on that part. Ask me a real question, I'll answer it. But I'm not going to answer those stupid questions. And just for the record, I thought this was about anthropology the store.